Griselda is a queen. She's from a lower social class to the rest of the royal family, and the people disapprove of this. So in an attempt to, uh, to quell the unrest, Gualtiero makes a kind of a drastic decision to publicly announce that he's going to divorce his wife and marry somebody who the people might deem more similar. I think she, she feels that her background is holding her back, that people are judging her for the fact that she may have just come from a different kind of life. Um, and that she doesn't seem to fit into what they expect a queen to be. We all try to live up to expectations or, you know, people have, people put expectations upon you and maybe sometimes that's a hard thing to live up to. It's the first time that any of Vivaldi's operas have been staged in Ireland. Obviously he's a composer that's very well known and very loved, but what people maybe don't know is that he uh, wrote at least 50 operas. Um, and was as well known as an opera composer. I first heard about it when Peter Whelan suggested that I might like to be in it and then I, I sort of looked it up and thought that sounds amazing, heard a couple of arias, realised that I already knew a couple because there's a couple of very famous ones but I didn't know that they came from Griselda and I didn't know anything about it. It's, as you know, it's not done very much so it feels really exciting to be, you know, doing, doing something that's very rarely performed. I think people will recognise the Vivaldi style and if you've heard any Vivaldi orchestral stuff before you'll definitely you know, know that it's him. The way he writes for voices is incredibly demanding as if we are violins and flutes and all sorts of incredible instruments that can play a zillion notes a second and I think that's really exciting because he doesn't seem to compromise uh, anything but also there are these incredible lyrical arias as well so there's lovely kind of slow romantic sad music as well as these sort of firework arias which will be thrilling hopefully for the audience and for us. But it means that we can make a really authentic experience for the audience musically. They're going to hear uh, the music played on period instruments with the kind of um, performance practice that uh, is authentic to the period. So that we're going to yeah, give the audience really a sense of what it might have been to hear this music and to follow this story in Venice at the time. Um, it also means that it's perfectly suited uh, to go to theatres all over Ireland so that we get to bring top quality uh, opera um, with the, some of the best uh, singers and musicians at this kind of repertoire to venues that are exactly the right size for people to experience it.